My grandpa liked to fish. That man would fish before he'd do anything else. You didn't want him to look at the cows as you drove down the road if you were going shopping or on a trip or anything because if they were all up eating, he'd turn the car around and go back and get his fish and tackle and go fish. Because if the cows are eating, fish are biting. If they're laying down, you won't catch anything. I said, how do you know that, Grandpa? Experience. I can prove it. Let's go fishing. The cows aren't eating. My mother said, no, she can't go. Grandpa got so involved in his fishing that he didn't know where he was. So the law, the law was, you have to take another adult with you or you don't go fish. Mom didn't trust the two of us alone on the fishing bank because that was like sending two two-year-olds. So we didn't get to go fishing. But Dad, who did not like to fish, would go and he lay down on the bottom of the boat and take a nap. That's all boats were good for as far as he was concerned. And Grandpa would fish and they had a good time and everything was cool until one day, Grandpa knew it wasn't gonna be any good because the, the cows weren't up, they were all laying down, but it was dull even for a bad fishing day. And Dad said, you know, it's getting a little hot. Can we go up closer to the bank? It's where there's uh, some shade, and Grandpa said, yeah. And they took the boat up closer to shore. Dad went back to sleep. Grandpa's fishing. Suddenly he looked over, and there is a water moccasin on a log not too far from him. He kind of nudged Dad with his boot and says, Jack, think that snake will die if I flip a fly over by him? Mm -hmm. Took a lot to wake my dad up. Grandpa said, hmm. So he flips the fly over past that snake, reels it in, nothing. Flips the fly over, reels it in, nothing. But Hope was alive and well with Grandpa that day. He must have put that fly past that snake nine or ten times. That last one was one time too many because the snake reached out and grabbed it as it went by. And before it could spit that fly out, Grandpa set the hook. Now that upset the snake and he came right on up that fishing line faster than Grandpa could, uh, could reel it in. And the next thing they know, it's in the bottom of the boat with my dad. Grandpa climbs up on the seat and he goes, Jack, there's a snake in the boat. Get up. Boy, Dad, come right away. Mom said he never woke up that fast at home. He got up on the seat and he grabbed up an oar and he began to wham around in the floor of the boat trying to shoot, trying to kill that snake. Grandpa looked at him and says, you don't know nothing. Reached in his tackle box, pulled out a gun and went bam, 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 three, three times. Killed the snake. He also put three holes in the bottom of the boat. <laughs> Dad says, what were you doing? Killing a snake. Great. Have you noticed we're sinking? <sighs> Kids, put his gun up, we pulled out something else, held out to Dad three quarts, said climb under the boat and put those in and we'll be fine. So Dad climbed out, put the corks in on the bottom of the boat, climbed back in, looked down and said, what, you couldn't bail while I was out there? I was busy. Doing what? Watching for the other snake. What other snake? Jack, everybody knows snakes travel in pairs. I was watching for his mate. Dad started bail. Finally, he says, if you don't mind, I'd like to go to shore. So Grandpa loaded, started the motor, and took him to shore. They got out, and Dad never went fishing with Grandpa again. <laughs>